We on? Nope. Don't want to start. No? Yes? Alright. On episode one, messing with microbes. Anyways, so we're going to have a little microbiology lesson here. Um, we're going to make cheese with the primary ingredients are listed here. These are the microbes. This is lactobacillus, lactococcus, and streptococcus. These are the main ones that you use in cheese. Streptococcus can also be used to make yogurt. Um, these are lactic acid bacteria, um, which are also named as starter cultures in the world of cheese and baking, so the cooking. Um, and what this lactic acid does is converts lactose into lactic acid and lowers the pH. And, and when it lowers the pH, it actually makes it less hospitable for other bacteria to make the cheese go bad. Um, these uh, microbes are mesophilic, which means they like temperatures best in like 68 to 113 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 to 45 degrees Celsius. Um, cheese can also be made with rennet, but that's an enzyme, so I don't really want to use that. I want to use actual bacteria. So. Our recipe um, calls for one quart of whole milk, which is four cups, uh, one and a half cups of buttermilk, and we're going to have to mix that with water, and just some regular sea salt, uh, two tablespoons of that. And what you'll need, obviously, is a measuring cup, a colander, you need some cheesecloth, and a pot. Obviously, these to measure the salt. So once it gets to 80, 180 degrees, it should um, separate. With that, that mixture, it should separate. Coagulation, and then the water should separate out, and then we should be able to start making the cheese from there. So, all right, we're gonna make the buttermilk, and let's see. So one and a half cups of water. And as you can see, this is a cultured buttermilk, so it has, you know, obviously has the bacterial culture in it. Okay, I'm going to mix up the buttermilk. I'm also going to add my four cups of milk. So we're going to add some salt. Okay, let's stir that up really good. Okay, you can see we're getting some clumps and some separation with our our cultures here separating from the fluid. So we'll let that cook a little bit more. All right, so we waited till for it to separate and curd up quite a bit. It took a little longer than I expected, but here we are, and so we're gonna. Take this and pour it in our cheesecloth. And if you can get over here, you can see there's a lot of nice curds in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Wrap my corners in together. So I'm going to take that and put it in the fridge for about 10 minutes and we'll see what we got. A moment of truth. I'll get this cheese out. Let's see. Put it in the freezer for a minute to cool it down a little faster. See, there's the cheese.
This is the corner. Yeah. All right. We got teas. Now we need to add crackers. Let's see how this tastes. Good. Mm, very seasoning. That's actually really good. Bon appétit.